Hey, welcome back everyone. We're going to be doing the next instance, Imperial Star Destroyer. And right now we are aboard AON's uh, Mighty 1300. I'm just kind of like showing you the outside of the ship right now. This is a player ship, this is a uh, AON ship. Probably uh, somewhat reminiscent of Han's ship, considering this, they're the same make. And yeah, you can you can decorate these uh these player ships. Get the ones large enough to walk around on. Oh, it looks like AON has this little little love den. Probably shouldn't be intruding on that. A yeah, very nice rug. Very lavishly decorated for a uh for a freighter. And yeah, Eowyn's just kind of, like, flying around. I always found that this would be cool. That you can just, like, be running around the ship, and the ship's just flying around. You can actually, like, view it in real time. You can, like, see him flying around like that. You can see the asteroids passing by. It's so extremely cool to me. Oh, going in hyperspace. Zoom! Yeah, we're in the ship because it's necessary to fly to the star to the star destroyer. You don't just enter like a like through a door or something. You actually have to be on a player ship in order to board the star destroyer. Now unfortunately I at this point in time I don't have my own player on board ship. I got because I I'm not a master pilot yet, I, I can't fly one even even if I wanted to. Because smugglers, uh, smugglers give you something if a smuggler gets you on board the Star Destroyer. And I'll talk about that more once we actually get on. So that's the Star Destroyer we're heading towards. This is, uh, I'm not sure why it says the, the Tatooine system up in the radar there, but we're in Ord Mantel space. Right now, uh, we're just kind of trying to evade these Black Sun dudes that are flying all over the place. I guess I'll uh, get into the details about this instance. The story of this instance is that there's this Imperial Admiral, or, uh, or Captain or something, who's gone rogue, and people from all over are like trying to take over the Star Destroyer before he can do anything. Like the Empire wants him dead because, you know, obviously he's a traitor. Rebels want him dead because... so he can't do anything, I suppose. One Star Destroyer for himself, perhaps. For themselves. And... neutral factions want it because they just want it. <laughs> I, I, I guess so. Why not? So we have to enter through the little hangar bay here. Jeez, I mean, flying is terrible. And yeah, it looks like we're uh, just about to enter the instance. I think. Yep, there we go. So yeah, once you, uh, once you successfully get on the ship, you were provided a nice little buff. We're just heading over here to, uh, for pre-battle preparations. Yep, just use that tactical serum. Yeah, you get this, uh, this nice little buff. You can see it up, up there in the corner. It's like the little symbol of the Star Destroyer. I think I show it eventually. Oh, I'm just calling all my all my buffs up. Anytime you want to show it. There we go. 
get this nice little buff. It's called Forced Entry. It increases your damage, reduces the damage you take, increases your constitution. And that's what you get if like anyone else but a smuggler gets you on the, into the instance. But if a smuggler gets you into the instance, like if I, if I had my own player on board ship, then you'd get a better buff. That would be called Smuggled In. It would uh, further increase your damage output and uh, further reduce the damage you take. All sorts of nice things. I might show that sometime in the future. I don't know, maybe. But unfortunately, Crunchbar is not yet a master pilot. So I was unable to provide that buff for my group. I think we're all just kind of waiting around. I think they're getting ready to drop a banner. It's like a, a pretty nice buff that you get for doing PvP. Player versus player action. I never got into that, so, you know, I wouldn't know. Oh yeah, Ural decided to finally join us. He, uh, he contacted us in the middle of that, uh, of that heated battle in the X-Men instance. And I was finally able to get him in. He has his pet Kimogila. That looks like, uh, Aon started the instance. So this, uh, this dude comes out. He is, what's... He is Crix Swift Shadow. I guess he's like an important dude here on the Star Destroyer. So the thing with him is, is that, uh, he and a bunch of Grenadiers show up. Like, the Grenadiers are up on platforms, though, so you can't go up and punch them. So I had to, uh, equip my pistol. Yep, there are Grenadiers up there. Fortunately, I'm not, uh... Yeah, you have to, do to avoid the grenades as well. Unfortunately, I am not specialized whatsoever in pistols. So I'm not doing nearly as much damage as I could be as a smuggler. But, you know, I'm trying my best. I'm shooting them up with a pistol. Whatever. And this is probably the hardest part of the instance, actually. Just avoiding all these grenades all over the place. I had to turn up my, uh, my particle effects. Oh god. And I had to turn up my particle effects, because, uh, otherwise you can't see where the explosions are gonna be. Alright, so all the grenadiers are dead, thankfully. Now here's Crick's ship with Swift Shadow. He's a fairly straight up fight, except that occasionally he coats the area in napalm. See there on the floor, you can see the fire going off. Again, you don't want to stand in the fire. Generally a bad idea to stand in fire. Well, if your particle effects were set down, like, like way low down like I normally have them, you wouldn't be able to see that fire. So that's, uh, kind of dumb. Kind of unfortunate. It's like if, if you're used to playing without particle effects on, it's like you'd just be randomly dying. You would have no idea what's going on. Which, unfortunate, which has the unfortunate side effect, making sure that hey, if your computer isn't that great, you're going to have a hard time with these instances. Which is, uh, Again, very unfortunate. That guy looks like Ori Ram Ramakad is, uh, gonna die there, standing in fire. Okay, there we go. Alright. That's the end of Crick's Swift Shadow. Again, multiple phases to this instance. Now we have to go somewhere. I think we're trying to get to the detention center. I'm not sure. So someone activated the uh, the next part of the instance. This guy called Commander Ken Kirk. 
He's like, you can't get through here. Yeah, Commander Kenkirk's just like, no, you can't get through here. But maybe you could have a chance if you find the squad leader and get his passkey. So we just gotta fight through uh, these waves of dark troopers. Uh, yeah, I was just messing with my sound settings. Yeah, now that all of these particle effects are turned up, you can uh, just about barely see what's going on. Because there's all this... Uh, I'm just showing off the Commander Kenkirk dialogue. Oh, we have three officers now. Instead of just two. So we have even less to worry about for action points. Oh, and we have a, a medic as well, which is very, very fortunate. Yeah, our, our team's pretty much set. And we're gonna we're gonna wreck face this instance. No problem. Yeah, with all these uh, all these particle effects going on, you can just barely see the enemy. There's so much crap on the screen. Luckily, my computer was uh, was able to handle it. Otherwise, there would have been uh, some pretty major slowdown there. Oh god, dark trooper! Punch him! Kick him, crunch bar! Punch him! And there's a uh, Oral's pet Ackley going to town there. Something I didn't know about the Beast Mastery system is if your if your pet is like really large and getting in the way, you can actually shrink them down so that uh, your teammates can see what's going on. And there wasn't this giant giant pet like uh, blocking the view everywhere. Luckily, Oral was a uh, was thoughtful enough to do that. We still haven't found that squad leader. I think he shows up pretty soon. I think it's right now. There's a squad leader back there, uh, Awen's punching him. But I don't realize this, so I'm just taking care of this dark trooper. Oh god, what's going on? There we go. Yep, there's a squad leader. Ah! And now we have his access card. Alright, let's move on. Stormtroopers. Whatever. And this is another instance where we, we just kind of got to hold out until eventually we're allowed to move on. Oh my god, what's going on? Yeah, something interesting I, I found out is that not everyone aboard the Star Destroyer is like all turned traitor. These comm operators actually help us, like fight the Dark Troopers. Like yes, finally someone's coming to uh, liberate us. And they actually help out. I'm not sure what's up with Patch's lightsaber there. It looks like solid. It doesn't look like a lightsaber should. Looks like they have that dark trooper handled. I'm just spamming my abilities left and right. We have three officers. My my action bar will never deplete since we have three officers. So I'm just spamming all of my bit all of my abilities just constantly. Just doing obscene amounts of damage. I 
I think it's like during this instance that I realized that uh, my effectiveness as a smuggler. Oh, it looks like the navigation locks are released. I think it's at this instance. During this instance as a smuggler. Okay, we're going to the hangar bay now. We can actually see like all these uh all these ATATs and all these ATSTs. I thought it was pretty cool. Nice addition. Anyways, I keep on getting distracted. Let's see what's coming up so I don't get distracted again. Let me get this uh nice little operating navigation room. Okay, here's the the entrance to the detention centers. There's Commander Ken Kirk. How you doing, bud? I'm gonna just take this uh, brief reprieve to redo my uh, smuggler buff for everyone. Oh, here we have uh, more grenadiers. Yeah, this part of the uh, the instance, we just kind of like draw back these grenadiers, handful by handful. We don't just charge into the next area, or else we uh, might get overwhelmed. Yep, just just pull the next group. There we go. But yeah. Anyways, it's during this instance that I realized that my limiting factor as a smuggler is no longer my action points, which it usually is. It's uh, it's how little damage I'm doing. Like if my strength, like I, I'm thinking like, oh, maybe I should pull my strength up higher, or do something, because I don't feel like I'm doing enough damage. Like during those uh, during those points in time where. I don't have any special abilities to fire off. So yeah, I'm not I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to get the chance to really pump up my character. Uh, it depends. For some reason, uh. The officers stopped replenishing my action bar. Well, here's the uh, the person defending the Denim Center. He and his uh, two little interrogator droids. They won't just charge it in. It's like whatever. We have a good enough group. We can we can deal with this. Yeah, general strategy for this is to take out the interrogator droids. Cause I think the uh, the interrogator droids heal up that uh, that middle dude. Not sure. Maybe they just yeah they like have this poisoning effect, which is pretty pretty nasty. So that what that green circle on the ground is, I think. Oh, it's Captain Pratt. <laughs> this guy has a funny name. What a Pratt. And, and you can't even see the dude. There's so much crap going on. When there's that much crap going on, there's periods of time where you can't even see the enemy. So you know your particle effects are up too high. Which I realized at this point. So yeah, we go into the detention center and we have to uh, rescue this Chief Olum guy. Because it turned out the elevators were locked. And we have to go down into the engineering bay to do something. I'm not sure. Here's the elevator. Elevator is uh unavailable. Chief Olam has to get it get his slow fat ass over here. Next another tactical serum, because I just ran out. Here's Fatty. Hey, you want to unlock this lift for us? That'd be appreciated. 
Power's down. Easiest thing to fix. Just need to enter my code. This is operational again. We can go and see about that short now. I guess there's like a short somewhere. There's Chief Olin. Here's his engineers. Look lively, men. Hey, it's the Chief! Hiya, Chief. Glad to see you're okay. We can catch up later. What's the situation down here? It's nice so good, Chief. Black Sun Joker's all over the engineering section. And, yeah, there's Black Sun in this area. Because it turns out the Black Sun are uh, boarding the Star Destroyer at the same time our group is. Which is uh, an unfortunate coincidence. I'm not sure what this is. No idea. I'm no fighter. You clear a path back to the thruster compartment. That'll do my part. Again, this is another part where you don't want it to charge in. You want to draw them uh, handful by handful back into the area, back into this larger area, so you can more easily deal with them. And I actually, I actually wasn't sure if uh, Eowyn was uh, was doing that. He, he was actually drawing them back, but then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, he is. Here's those black suns. Die, black sun engineers. They're not actually the, the real threat. The real threat are these uh, black sun borders of these, like, huge... They're freaking huge. They're, like, the size of Wookiees. Like, I'm not entirely unconvinced that there's not Wookiees inside that armor. And they're pretty badass. Like, they don't use blasters. They're like, ah, oh, forget that. They just whip out these huge freaking pikes. Just go town. And even with my particle effects turned down, it's like, you can hardly see, tell what's going on. Which I realize, and turn down the particle effects even further. Oh god, someone's attacking me! For some reason this one black sun border is, uh... His normal size. He's not as gigantic as the other ones. Oh no. Where was that play died? That's sad. They can just recall it. I think we can actually move on. Yep. Lots of uh, very engineering things down here in the engineering bay. It's okay, guys. I'll help. I punch on. I'll punch him in the butt. He'll slowly turn around. There we go. I'm not sure how effective that uh, that one particular move is. I think we actually bypass like a whole section of this instance. I think if you attack that engineer, then uh, all these black sun borders will start, like, rolling in. But we just kind of bypass them completely. Like, that engineer is like a trigger. 
and target and it triggers a little bit of a difficult part. I'm not sure how effective that like like clapping move is. I think the idea is that he's like clapping his ears. Which is uh probably pretty disorienting. Like burst your eardrums or something. Yeah, not entirely sure how effective that is on an opponent that has a helmet. I guess it would like mess up their helmet and they're like, oh, oh I got gotta readjust my helmet. It's such a minor inconvenience. God damn. Yeah, it is the, uh, the engine room. The pretty big, huge engines. It is a Star Destroyer after all. I think the idea is that we have to clear out all the Black Sun borders so that Chief Olam can come down and fix whatever short there is. I'm not sure why we have to fix the short. Like I'm I'm guessing maybe like the short is preventing access to another part of the ship. Like like the ship's on lockdown until the short's fixed or something. Again, like, you know, I'm not entirely sure. You know, a little bit of a frame rate issue here. I think it goes away fairly soon though. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah, there's a there's a part coming up where I th I actually thought my computer froze. Once we get up the elevator is I think when it kicks in. Yeah, this part right here. Like my computer just like the picture just froze for like 3 seconds and just completely terrified me. I was like, oh god, did my computer crash? And then I'd have to uh, like come back and... Considering the what the group has been doing so far, uh, Eowyn probably would have like initiated the combat without me. But thankfully I did not crash. Eowyn's uh, running around again. I guess I'll show off the crew quarters. Actually very nice. Very nicely decorated. You know, considering it's a, it's a Star Destroyer and all. Got uh, very nice living rooms and, and beds and bunks and such. Very nice. Yeah, now it's time to take down Commander Ken Kirk. He's been, uh... He's been taunting us pretty much the entire time. Bastard. I have to turn down, turn up my particle effects again. The thing is with Commander Ken Kirk is he calls down these uh, these orbital strikes, which is an officer ability. That orbital strike, which is kind of odd considering we're inside a star destroyer. Yeah, I guess uh, nobody really cares about these. Uh, about these orbital strikes, so I just turned down my particle effects again. So we, we've got so much healing going on that we can just like soak up the damage and not care. There we go. I feel like I got, I got hit by some kind of snare effect. I'm just kind of like... Uh, I'm coming, guys! Hold on! I'm coming! Uh, uh, uh. Like, uh... Like, Crunchbar, like the fatty he is. I'm sorry, Crunchbar, I shouldn't call you fat. But 
Yeah, I guess uh, these stormtroopers don't really care. We're just kind of like running by them. And they're like, eh, whatever. We just want these guys gone. Just, just take out our commander, whatever. Here's Grand Admiral Sight. Sight. Yeah, Sight sounds cool. So let's all call him Grand, Grand Admiral Sight. He's pretty snazzily dressed, I have to say. He's got the uh, the white Grand Admiral outfit. Huh. Pretty spiffy looking old man. Who is uh, holding his own against like eight dudes, all shooting him in the face at once and punching him. Pretty badass. Like all he's got is his little knife. So I'll take you youngins down. Rah! Yeah, fairly straightforward fight. He, has, he doesn't have any special abilities. You just uh, kind of roll your face across the keyboard until he's dead. And uh, there he goes. No special loot, unfortunately. But I did get the combat offense uh, opponent block reduction pretty cool. I'm just like, yeah, that was awesome. And I decided to show the outside and show the skybox outside. And show that we can actually see the rest of the Star Destroyer, which is pretty cool. And there's the crewmen. They just kind of don't care that the Grand Admiral just died. They're like, yeah, whatever. He had it coming to him. And I just, uh, while everyone else is ejecting from the instance, I go down and, uh, and show off that you can actually go down here with the crewmen. And just kind of, like, hang out with them. You know, how you doing, buddy? Pretty, pretty rough experience. You know, I'll give, you know, I'll give you a hug. There we go. Everyone loves fishman hugs. And then I eject from the instance. So, yeah. That's the, uh, the end of the instance there. I will... Oh god. Yeah, I forgot that, uh... When we came back to Tatooine... There was this very awkward looking... Very awkward looking, uh... Obese... Twi'lek. And... It was very uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, I guess the video's over. Unfortunately, I did not get any XR Kuhn footage. Uh, I'll try to sometime in the future. But, uh... Yeah. So far, that's it for heroic instances. And I'll see you guys next time.